Hi and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. As promised last Sunday, I'm going to walk you through all my FBM orders today from the last 30 days and tell you a little bit about them. I'll show you a couple of the items and just give you a better idea of what to expect as far as shipping and profits and all that. If you're new to my channel, my name is Nikki Kirk and I'm sitting in my RV office. I am currently out in Indiana and I have been selling out of this RV for the last three years. I think we're officially at three and a half now. And up until this year, it was how I was making my full-time income living, my main source of income, all from an RV. So it has been part-time hours and I've been making full-time income and coming from Los Angeles, that is awesome because you know you have to work a desk job and go nine to five and a job you hate, pay a lot of money for an okay department. But anyways, that's besides the point. So before March of 2020, I had done maybe 20 total like FBM orders. If you don't know what FBM is, it's fulfilled by merchant. And normally I do FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon. So I pack up all my stuff and I send it in boxes to Amazon's warehouse. Amazon will then fulfill the orders for the customers and warehouse all the stuff so I don't have to, which is super ideal when you live in an RV. So in March, there was an opportunity posted in the Bolo group and I happened to stumble across it and I was like, okay, this is too good of a profit to not just try FBM because if you are not familiar with FBM, it is super intimidating. I have learned a lot, it is no longer intimidating and it's actually kind of fun, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So I just jumped on the opportunity, said I'll figure it out, like let's just do this and I ended up doing I think it was like 160 orders or something all through the month of March and it was crazy I made a ton of money so then the rest of the summer I kind of like didn't really do a lot of FBM because it is intimidating and then finally through the help of the Bolo group members who are a lot more familiar with FBM they kind of showed me how to do the shipping templates and all that so I did a full video breaking down step by step how to do fulfilled by merchant and I will link it here if you want to check that out it's a longer video because it's literally step by step because I now know how to do it it's not intimidating anymore so these are my numbers for the last 30 days of my FBM profit and you will see it's all over the place because I was learning. If you are not familiar with selling toys during Q4, you have to sell 25 FBM orders in general. It does not have to be toys between, I think it was August 15th to October 14th. So the time has already come and gone. So if you're watching this right now, it's already passed. So sorry. But anyways, you had to do 25 orders. And so some of these numbers, while you're seeing I'm either taking a loss or making like 70 cents, it's because I was trying to hit those 25 orders. I did not anticipate that I would love it so much and keep going. Otherwise, I would have found more profitable items. All right, so let's just jump into the spreadsheet and I'll show you. Altogether, I sold 17 different items and it was 54 orders overall. So that's pretty good, I thought. These orders are all from September 14th until October 8th. I'm gonna show you a couple of them, but most of them are items that were shared in the Bolo group or I shared in the Bolo group, and so I don't want to give away the secrets of the Bolo group, so I won't be sharing with you what they are, but just the general categories. I filtered them right here in total profit, so the first one was a grocery item. They actually bought two of an item I was selling, so I'll get into that in a little bit, but the total ROI was 42%. It cost me, from the store, including tax, $41.20, and then it cost me $13 to ship them, $15 in Amazon fees, because the more the item is, the more Amazon fees are going to be, because it's just a percentage of the total. The packaging cost was zero, and that is because I shipped them priority. So, if you're shipping priority, you can just use the priority USPS postage. So they have boxes. I actually found this at a little tiny post office and I thought it was a flat rate, but it's not. And so it took me a little digging, but you can actually use this box and just print the regular priority. You don't print the flat rate labels. You just print priority and you can ship it because it's a priority box. The other way to get zero packing is of course this bubble mailer. If it fits in this bubble mailer, it is $7.75 to $8.50 on Amazon. I think Amazon gets a little bit of discount. So if you want to mail it from the post office, it would be like $8 something 850 I think but if you do it from Amazon it is 775 so if you're outsourcing and it is over a pound but it will fit in this you'll know it'll cost eight dollars roundabout so this grocery item I did go ahead and ship in a box like this priority so free packing supplies 
Then I had a costume. I actually did quite a bit of Halloween items. I did Halloween decorations, I did Halloween grocery items, and I did Halloween costumes. So depending on when you're watching this and how ballsy you are, you can probably still go out sourcing and get some costumes if they're selling well and make a profit. I am a little bit too scared to do it at this point, so I'm not going to. But if you find them and you want to flip them and get them to the customer in time, you can definitely do that. So this costume I sold for $74.95. It cost me only $26 at the store. The shipping was $9 because altogether it was over a pound, Amazon's fees. Packing cost 13 cents. Now let me show you why that was. These poly mailers. So this was $13 for a hundred of them. So each one cost 13 cents and that's where I got that. So these huge high ticket items that I was selling that was only costing 13 cents for the packing materials, which is awesome. So that one I profited all together 26.15. So on this one, I mean ROI wise as far as I purchased it, it was almost 100%, but when you take in all the fees and cost of shipping, it takes it down to 53% ROI, which is still pretty good. So here we have another costume 62, another this is the same costume I sold them for different prices, probably because someone came on the listing so $59 it cost the same price obviously and this one was under a pound so it fit in the poly mailer it was under a pound so it costs even less to ship because if it's under a pound and it's lightweight you can either fit in a poly mailer or a bubble mailer then it's gonna cost at most five dollars to ship first class USPS so on those ones you can see I paid $21.36 for them and I made $25, $22. After all the other associated costs and fees, came out to 70% and almost 60% ROI. Here we have a Halloween decoration I sold for $69. So again, it was about, it was $19.99 at store. So with tax, it was $21.36. Shipping, it was a larger, like bulkier item. So I had to put it in one of those Walmart small boxes, which I think are like 14 by 14 by 12. And so that one, it costs about $17 to ship, so it was a little more to ship. Altogether, I mean, I made $19 on it, so that was pretty good. The fun thing about FBM is like, it's fast paced and you're seeing it. So FBA is a really fun long game because you send it all in there and it just sells over time. But FBM is those quick flips where you feel like you're getting that reward back right away, which makes it a lot of fun, which is why I actually really enjoy it right now. In fact, if you've seen some of my other videos where I talk about the canning item, which was a like branch lead from the Bolo group. Someone shared in the Bolo group another canning item and so when I went looking for it, I found this other item because I just scanned everything that was there and it sold from my cart in Walmart. So I was going around to all the other Walmarts I went to into the aisle looking for this. I found, I can't remember how many I found, let me count them up. I found seven of them all together and every single one of them made $10 and they cost less than $10. So all together after all the fees, it was a 50% ROI, which was awesome. Whenever the thing is selling from your cart in Walmart or wherever you're shopping, it is so much fun. It just is so exciting. Like I sold it before I even bought it. Here's another toy I sold. It was another branch lead from the Bolo group and I sold two of them with this order. So it cost, it was like $19 sell price. So $40 altogether. They cost me less than $5 at the grocery store. And I used this envelope, which when you divide the pack all together, it costs 48 cents per envelope. So now I've got the total all in cost was $20 and I made almost $20, almost 100% ROI, including all the fees. So that was a really great one. And then these I wanted to just highlight because this is a heavier item. It's a bundle. Bundles are a really great thing for FBM because they normally make more profit. They're higher in price. So this was a grocery bundle. And again, I did it priority mail. So I went with the free priority packing. So I saved on packing, even though I'm spending a little bit more on shipping. The great thing is that when people buy multiple, so when I sold two of those toys, it really ends up saving me on shipping. So I make more profit. When I first saw someone order two, I was like, oh, I don't have a box big enough for that. But at the end of the day, I figured it out. and. I made more profit because the shipping combined all into one was less. So here's another bundle. It was a costume and wig bundle. So it cost me $32 because the, uh, that's adding the two different prices and putting them together. So it cost me $32.29 including tax. And then again, I put them in one of those poly mailers, so it's 13 cents. And I ended up making $12 on those. Not a great ROI, but you know, for as easy as it is to sell, I mean, I just go buy it. I put it in a mailer, print the label, and take it to the post office. So 
that's kind of an easy $12. All right, so now I'm gonna show you one of the items I sold pretty early on when I was just trying to get the orders and find anything that would sell and make a profit. So these are zone bars. I bought these at Walmart. It was a three pack and here is the item if you're interested in seeing what it was. I sold them for $35.99. You see now that the price is $50. However, the rank is really high, so that probably means they aren't actually selling. But cost me $16 because I think they were $4.99 each at Walmart. And then the shipping price was $8.23, so they were heavier and needed to go priority. Amazon fees were $5.75. And again, because it went priority, it didn't cost me any money for the packaging. All in cost $29.99, and I made $6. So it wasn't great, but it did give me that order to hit my threshold. And then I've, since I've filtered them by profit, you're seeing now all these ones where I didn't really make a big profit. Here's some other toys that I was selling early on to get my 25 orders in. I mean, I wasn't losing money altogether, but I wasn't really making any money either. And then finally, I wanted to show you this last one, which was a Fortnite item because this was something I bought wholesale so I could get the invoice and get ungated in Fortnite. And since then, I have found so many Fortnite items at retail, which is why I knew I wanted to get ungated. In fact, I just sent one in right now that makes $20 and it costs $10. So that's why I wanted to get ungated. And this is exactly the process that my ungating guides teach. So if you want to get ungated in topical grocery, OTC, or toys and brands of toys that you see out there that you're like, wow, that's crazy profit. I wish I could sell it. I can definitely help you out getting ungated in that. The links are below. But I wanted to share this with you because what was I going to do with all these Fortnite things? So I just thought, okay, let me just go ahead and sell them FBM to get my, again, 25 orders for the Q4 toy thing. And so I went ahead and sold them at a loss. So I actually ended up losing quite a bit of money on these. It did help me get those orders, which in hindsight didn't really matter. And that is one of the fun things about FBM. It is a learning and sometimes it's a little costly learning experience, but when you do learn it, you don't make those mistakes again. So I'm not selling them anymore because I don't wanna lose money. Actually, some of them went up in price. I went ahead and sent them in FBA. So I forgot to do this, but let's just go ahead and total everything. So the total I spent in store, like put it on my credit card was $789. The total cost of it all comes out to be a little more because it's taking in all the fees and the shipping and all that. But then at the end of the day, I made $437. So about 50% ROI doing FBM if you take the cost of like buying it from the store and the profit I made off of it. If I never sold it, I wouldn't have all these other costs associated with it. So let's just see what that ROI is. So that ROI, if I'm taking the total cost after shipping and Amazon fees and all that would be 30% ROI on FBM and I did all this 54 orders in a month. I only had one return and honestly besides those ones where I was just trying to do it thinking I wasn't going to be able to do it in time. The ones I've done since here where you're seeing all of these totally worth it. Would do it again in a heartbeat. The ones where I'm obviously making a dollar eh, probably not worth it. And so I'm really excited to go into Q4 and start doing more FBM. If you need help on knowing what to FBM and all of that, I have the other video that I did, which I'll link here. That really will help you walk through when you should do it, what's a good time. But in general, like you saw, most of these are Halloween because it's too close to Halloween to send them FBA but there's still so much profit to be made, so I did them FBM. As always, I hope this video was helpful and gave you a better idea of FBM and what, how you can do it, what you can do, and the money to be made doing it when you do it right. It is definitely a learning experience, and I highly recommend just trying it and doing it because even when you're losing money, which I didn't lose all that much, I mean $15 altogether, but the learning experience you'll get out of it is really great and you'll be able to get better at it. This was probably, besides March, the first month I really did it like a lot. So I don't know, I just, I think it's fun and I like the rush of selling stuff and being able to ship it right away because I also really like shipping stuff. I'm weirdly fascinated with the post office, but anyways, that's besides the point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you need help on dating or you want my Q4 guide, I have a bundle or you can check out the guides on their own below. Until next time, have a great week and happy sourcing.